this press conference is uh, about uh, the first e-sports tournament to be hosted by the Department of Need Resources and Sports. As you are all aware, the Government of India has entrusted the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports to look after e-sports. Similarly, even in our state, the Department of Youth Resources and Sports is looking after e-sports. This year, we have decided to host the first ever e-sports tournament in view of the 25th year celebration of the Hornbill Festival. There is a silver jubilee of the Hornbill Festival. We are thrilled to introduce the Hornbill Esports Championship as part of this year's festival. It marks a significant moment in the history of our state. Not only because it is the first esports tournament hosted by the government, but also because it highlights our commitment to the youth and the evolving landscape of sports and entertainment in our state. The reason why we are holding this uh, Hornbill Esports Championship is to ensure that there is skill development uh, that skill development takes place to ensure that global opportunities are open to our youths and also for uh, technological and innovation uh, progress. We are also uh, starting this esports to ensure that our environment, the environment that we create for our people, for particularly the youth, is inclusive. And then finally, that there's a positive engagement with youths, be it in physical sports or be it in virtual sports. This year, the eSports, uh, we are hosting it uh, in collaboration with uh, Level Up Consultancy, which is an eSports uh, consultancy. And uh, we are hoping to at least attract more than uh, three, 400 youths from across the state as well as the Northeast region. This year's eSports is open only to the people from the Northeast. So next year, we will see whether we can take it forward or not. We are also expecting a number of participation from various uh, computer companies and even youth-related companies as either sponsors or as partners in this particular eSports tournament. We are in the process of uh, talking to various companies like Lenovo, uh, Asus. Then we are also in pr uh, process of talking with the Red Bull manufacturing companies and other computer-related companies like even the HCL also. We hope that some of them will come on board to uh, host this eSports with us. The Department of Youth Resources has, as earlier stated, undertaken this venture to start eSports in the state because we have seen that a number of our youths, uh, they have various talents. Some youths have talents in physical sports like football, athletics or cricket. Other youths have got talents in, you know, which we normally think is actually not good for the society, but we have found that over the years, esports is something that is garnering a lot of support all over the world. Recently, you would have noticed that on the eve of the launching of the Paris Olympic 2024, the International Olympic Committee has announced the esports Olympics, uh, which is to be hosted by Saudi Arabia in 2025. So. Esports is becoming a mainstream even now, and we believe that our state should not be left behind. Therefore, we are also starting this. The level of involvement of various state governments in the country is, as of today, not very high, especially in esports. So, we thought that by taking a plunge into this esports, our government, our state will be one of the front runners as far as esports is concerned. And we believe that once we undertake such events, our children, especially our youths, will be, you know, bringing laurels to our state and even to our country in the international arena. And esports is one thing where a lot of, uh, uh, you know, the money involved is also quite a lot. It's a billion dollar industry. And we believe that in the few years to come, once the Olympic esports starts, then we believe that it will become a trillion dollar industry where each one of us will be able to, you know, uh, take a positive part in the esports. So, uh, if there's any question, we would like to take. What is the price money for the esports? The price money for the esports this year is uh, about six lakh. Total price pool is six lakh, and we are hosting three different games along with the 
a very familiar thing called the cosplay. So cosplay is actually to give an entertainment space for the participants as well as for the uh, people who come to uh, witness the esports. And the price money for, uh, I think Nauru can take over, the price money for this, uh, the games, various games. The price money for BGMI, which is a Battlegrounds Mobile India, is 3 legs. And for Dota 2, we have 2 legs. And for FC24, we have the price bill of 50,000. And Cosplay also carries a price of 50,000. Is there any limitation on the number of participants? Uh, no. The esports, there's no limitation on the number of participants because the first uh, primary round is going to be online, it's going to be virtual and in the virtual uh, people registration has already started and uh, the registration are closing in the second week of October. So once the registration gets over, there will be virtual uh, competition between the various teams and the teams after competing will be choosing uh, the best teams to participate in the physical, uh, you know, offline contest here in Koima. We will be having the event here in the IG Stadium in the Hall B. So it will be one day first? Uh, it will be a two days a year. Two days a year. Oh, because, so. yeah. Is there any age limitation since it's the first time organizing? No, no. Esports doesn't have any age limitation. Is it that fixed for it? Yes, it is going to be held on 8 and 6 and 7. Sorry. No, December. The offline competition, that is the physical competition, it's actually not offline, it's still online, but the physical competition is going to be held here at the IG Stadium in OB on the 6th and 7th of December 2020, as it is also a part of the Hongbyl Festival. Six and seven. Registration has already started uh, and uh, we'll be closing down the registration in the second week of October. How do you participate to complete the registration? It's all online. We have uh, Instagram and uh, we have our social, other social media pages and we have Google, uh, created Google Forms where the persons interested can register through these Google Forms. And once they register, if they are serious about it, they will make the entry fee payment, which is uh, 2,000 rupees. And then uh, once they make the entry fee payment, then they will be given slots and the uh, actual preliminary rounds will start. There are after the registration it gets over. So, sir, uh, are you expecting uh, uh, any participants from outside the state or is it only for Nali inclusive? Uh, we are expecting participants from the whole of Nordis. In fact, uh, in the month of December, a number of uh, privately organized esports tournaments are ha happening uh, in and around the region. That is the Nordis region. We are made uh, aware that there are about six, including ours, six tournaments are happening in uh, the region. Out of which the highest prize pool is uh, being offered by our state. And the other states uh, also, they have uh, actually, you know, uh, rescheduled their dates because we are hosting it on 6th and 7th. Meghalaya was supposed to host it on uh, 5th and 6th, however, they have shifted it to 13th and 14th of December. So similarly, even in Arnachal also, something like that is happening, where participants from all over the uh, Nordic regions are also participating. And we expect that the similar participants also will be coming. Any tentative numbers for the physical round? Physical round, we all together we cannot say because uh, ultimately it depends on their qualifications. There will be certain points which they have to uh, you know, achieve. However, we expect about uh, 150 to 200 uh, teams participating. And that is teams. Each team is uh, having four members, and uh, that is for BGMI. And even for Dota 2, also there will be teams. For the FIFA, it is uh, it's, it's not going to be uh, you know thrown online. It's going to be straight offline on those two days. So we'll be having a FIFA game console competition, and then even for cosplay also similar thing. It'll be just open to everyone who is interested. They can come and participate.
So what about the judges and the courts? Uh, actually, for this type of games, judges in uh, per se the regular judges which we used to have is not there because it's the game. I mean, it's the winner who is decided by the game itself. But yes, we have uh, technical support who will be uh, checking whether there's any cheat codes being used or not. So those things are already in place. Then for uh, you know promoting the events, we have casters. So the casters are also already in place. We have already uh, engaged the casters also, and the casters are already uh, they'll be already in service during the preliminary rounds. This technical team from where are the team? The technical team is uh, in fact from all over the country. We have uh, some expert technical teams who are into this, so we pay them, uh, you know, their fees, and they come and then they ensure that no cheat codes are used. So that, that's how they're